Hello students, I am Jamin Pandya. In this lecture, we will discuss about the various schematic represent which are used in process flow diagram for the manufacturing of chemicals. Right? In previous lecture, we have discussed about the batch process and continuous process. So, let's just recall the batch process and continuous process. What we are meaning by the batch process? In batch process, there will be a one vessel in which we are going to add the chemical and allow them to settle down and react with each other and produce the product C. And then we will take out this product C after some period of time. For example, A plus B gives C. To react with A and B, there will be a 2 hour it's required time of 2 hour then we will settle down this both reactant and wait for the 2 hours right after then uh, we will take out the product so which known as the batch process then we have discussed about the continuous process in continuous process we are continuously fed a reactant A plus B and continuously remove product C. So, if we are going to continuously remove product C, it will create room for the reactant AB, right? So, here flow of reactant and product are in continual manner. We also discuss various advantages and disadvantages of both places. Now, here we are going to discuss about various schematic representation of uh, liquid-liquid extraction, right? So, for the liquid liquid extraction, we are going to use this type of symbol which used to contact solvent and free to give raffinate and extract, which widely adapted to remove of naphthenes from the lube oil fraction using solvent such as CO2. Right now, let's discuss about the solid liquid. In solid liquid uh, leaching or can say that extraction which involve removal of solute from solid by means of liquid solvent. For example, it mostly used in ore treatment to recover the metal value. Right? So, this one is for the liquid liquid extraction and this one for the solid liquid extraction. Solid liquid extraction which also known as a leaching process. Right, liquid liquid extraction which mostly used to add solvent. For example, let's suppose we are just going to add solvent with mixture of AB. Right now, this solvent, what we uh, this solvent is going to do? So, let's suppose mixture of A and B, and we are going to add third component which is a solvent so either a is soluble in solvent so we can get b as a extract phase and this become our raffinate phase now further this go for the distillation and we can separate it out a and c right so solvent is a component in which either a or either b is a soluble let's suppose in uh, our process e is a soluble then B is the becomes our extract phase and A and C becomes our raffinate phase. Raffinate phase again go for the distillation to separate out. So, this is how liquid liquid extraction are going to work. Now, let us discuss about the next process which is a fluid handling. For the fluid handling uh, which is also one type of unit operation for the fluid handle different types of pump are going to use such as a centrifugal pump reciprocating pump and jet ejector centrifugal pump widely used for the liquid of all types all types of uh, liquid are the for the handling all type of liquid we are going to use the centrifugal pump which is a simple in construction and maintenance compared to the other pump reciprocating pump generally used for the higher pressure delivery or higher head it may be used for the metering or uh, proportion of particular component or chemical 
जेट इजेक्टर आर यूज फॉर द लो प्रेशर ऑपरेशन और प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वैक्यूम एंड स्टीम इज मोस्टली यूज फॉर द मोटिवेट ऑफ द फ्लूड राइट सो दिस इज अ सिंबल ऑफ जेट इजेक्टर दिस इज सिंबल ऑफ रेसिप्रोकेटिंग पंप एंड दिस इज सिंबल ऑफ द सेंट्रिफिकल पंप सेंट्रिफिकल पंप विच आर नॉर्मल यूज फॉर द ऑल टाइप ऑफ फ्लूड रेसिप्रोकेटिंग पंप आर मोस्टली यूज फॉर द टू क्रिएट हायर हेड वेल जेट इजेक्टर विच मोस्टली यूज फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वैक्यूम और स्टीम राइट नाउ लेट डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट विच इज अ फ्लूड सॉलिड कॉन्टेक्टिंग फ्लूड सॉलिड कॉन्टेक्टिंग कैन बी डन बाय द फिक्स बेड और फ्लूड बेड राइट सो फिक्स बेड विच थ्रो इन दिस फिगर दिस नोन एज अ फिक्स बेड दिस नोन एज अ फ्लूड बेड एंड दिस नोन एज अ मूविंग बेड फिक्स बेड widely used in type of the catalytic reactor or catalytic reaction which used with the precious metal as a catalyst to minimize the loss of catalyst which is usually in form of the pellet right now let discuss about the fluid bed fluid bed used to contact fine divided solid with reactant such as gas for example cracking catalytic or catalyst with oil vapor and then with the air is also used in roasting of sulfide ore to give uh, oxide and so2 right so for the production of uh, sulfide ore or uh, which gives uh, oxide and so2 for that we are going to use flu uh, fluid bed fixed bed which uh, mostly used for the catalytic uh, process catalytic process which means a process which use catalyst in reactions right so if any reaction which use catalyst that known as a catalytic reaction and for catalytic reaction we are mostly used the fixed bed we can also use the fluid bed for the catalytic uh, catalytic reaction but it's mostly used for the uh production of sulfide ores and uh, production to give oxide and so2 now let discuss about the moving bed this is a symbol of the moving bed uh it's a combined virtual of fixed bed reactor and with ability to regenerate catalyst by movement of separation and regeneration john right so here we can get the catalyst from this here catalyst are fixed in a fluid bed we can separate the catalyst after the conversion and here we can uh, again re use catalyst after the in continuous manner so this becomes our moving bed reactor now let's discuss about the solid uh, fluid solid separation such as a uh, centrifugation right centrifugation is mostly used to separate very fine divided solid from the liquid or liquid from the emulsion right so it's used for the solid separation from the liquid then it's also used to separate out uh, the emulsion from the liquid right so it's also used for uh, removing the emulsion from the uh, liquid solution then uh, settling tank this is a symbol of settling tank which is simply device used to remove the large particle from gas stream by simple settling in low viscous zone so it's used for the separation of gas and solid right fluid which may be a gas or fluid which may be a liquid so it's uh, used for the gas and solid now third one which, which is a wet scrubber wet scrubber uh, which effective means of removal of suspended particle from gas stream by contact with the liquid right so here we can uh, use to remove gas particle sorry solid particle from the gas and liquid mixture right so here we are going to just pass gas and from above we are just purging a uh, liquid so that uh, solid is uh, absorbed on this liquid and cling gas is removed 
from the upper side so it becomes our wheat scrubber now let's discuss about the crystallizer crystallizer is mostly used in sugar industry it's a nearly saturated solution as chloride and cool to effect nucleation and crystal growth which widely used with the inorganic salt right so it's used for the creation of crystal in this process we are just increasing the temperature so if we are going to increase the temperature and uh, making uh, saturated solution after the uh, making uh, saturated solution we cool down that uh, liquid and uh, that liquid create the solid particle which known as a crystal so crystallizer which used for the pre uh, preparation of the crystal then uh, rotary filter right which mostly used for the vacuum apply to the uh, inner part of the drum here we are in a in inner part of drum we are just going to apply the vacuum to pull pull out the filter out of the cake which used to separate minerals slurry pulp fiber from the water right so it's uh, used for the removal of the various types of pulps fiber and slurry now let's discuss about the filter press filter press is a simplest type of uh, pressure filter widely used for the separation of solid and uh, liquid which is a plate and uh, which made of plate and fabric filter media may be made of variety of uh, corrosion resistance material right then third one which is a cyclone separator cyclone separator which are mostly used to separate solid particle of liquid droplet from the gas to permit product recovery or to cut down the product loss from the air pollution so this is a symbol of the cyclone separator now let's discuss about the electrostatic filter electrostatic uh, precipitator or can say that electrostatic filter are used to remove fine dust or mist suspension in gas uh, it's uh, it's have high efficiency to remove the fine particle which cannot separate out using the cyclone separator so we can easily separate very fine particle using the electrostatic filter then third one is a bag filter this is a symbol of bag filter bag filter are mostly batteries of uh, tubular fabric bag are mounted so solid may be removed continuously by flow reversal and mechanical shaking so this is a symbol for the bag filter now let's discuss about the thickener classifier it used to separate uh, separate slurry into sludge and clear liquid right so it used to separate the slurry into sludge and clear liquid used widely in min, uh, mineral industry and uh, sewage treatment or sewage plant right so in sewage plant the solid is come uh, comes here which known as a sludge and uh, from upper side we can easily remove the clear liquid or clear water for the further separation process so this is all about the today's lecture i am completing my lecture here thank you